Okie doke. So you're seeing a map of, uh, I think it's a decision games. Yes, it is. Um, yes. Uh, decision games. I blew it up a long time ago. I never played this game. Uh, Chantilly. Probably a folio game or a micro game. Anyways, when I, the reason why this map is here is due to the fact that I was looking at, I'm still trying to figure out the operational uh, mishmasher dog's breakfast of a game I'm doing over there. It's just uh, a learning thingamajig for sure. All right, so what is this map doing here? I wanted to go and look for another map. And then um, when I was going through my collection, I saw this and I went, wait a flippin' minute. This could have uh, potential for soldiers and um, doing a scenario in Africa, as far as I'm concerned. Just had a lot of jungle look to it. And I was like, okay, so what can I transform this for Africa uh, for the soldiers game, as far as I'm concerned? I remotely remember, I'm going to have to look it up. I don't think it's going to be that difficult to look up. I do remember there was part of the Cameroon campaign where the British were coming towards a pretty important uh, German uh, city at Garua, maybe. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to go take a look. They, were, they got stopped initially by a German position they had. I can't remember what that was called as well. Uh, the British were able to take it, but had to fall back due to, uh, like I said, it's been a long time. It's been over a year since I remember reading about that battle. The British, when they got the reinforcements or whatever the heck they needed, and they went forward, they were surprised the Germans were not there. As, but then when they went forward, they I think they got um, hurt quite a bit. They eventually did take the, the spot. But when I saw this, I was like, hmm, it's got quite a bit of uh, potential. What am I converting towards soldiers and still trying? Well, obviously, I'm going to have to make better uh, counters. That's fine. Uh, the scale for this game is one hex to 300, whatever. It doesn't matter because this, uh, it just means it's just going to be a small scale thing. I probably, well, they didn't have big artillery over there. Um, I'm going to obviously, I'm going to give the Germans probably two machine guns and um, an artillery, but it's going to be reduced. And obviously I'm going to give these guys, uh, the British coming up, they'll get some machine guns and whatnot, and maybe an artillery piece, but it won't be like crazy range and crazy strength. That's just the way it goes. I'm going to convert the roads into canals uh, for um, soldiers' purposes, and I'm going to use this, I don't know what the heck it is, what is it called? A railroad bed. I'm going to turn that into a footpath or whatever. And... Soldiers doesn't have this. It's got woods and, you know, uh, hills and open terrain and so on and so forth. So I'm going to use this as um, kind of like your Valkyrie in a weird way of um, broken terrain. It's not going to affect your movement. Uh, this is going to be woods. Oh, I love this little dude. But I don't think it's really going to affect anything anymore because the I'm, setting, I'm allowing the Germans or, uh, the, yeah, the German forces to... Um, uh, start anywhere from here. I haven't even figured out their strength or it doesn't matter, right? Like I said, I'm just trying to see if I can use this map. I think I can. And the British can go anywhere from Reed's farm or Vaughn Reed's farm, I guess, uh, from here down. That's the way it is. And it doesn't, North's pointed that way in this map. Who cares? Um, so like I said, so these are, the roads are going to be turned into canals or streams kind of thing or whatever. And this is going to be a footpath. And the objective for the British is to get the flippin' Germans to retreat out of Germantown or whatever the hell you want to call it. I was like, when I saw that name, I went, hmm, let's make, turn this into Africa. This is going to be woods, just like in um, Soldiers. And the only difference for me is, like I said, I'm going to take a look at the artillery strength strengths. Uh, there's not going to be obviously a bazillion units on here. Like I said, I'll still try to keep the soldiers rules. So like a movement of four seems pretty crazy. But yet again, you can't in soldiers, you can't use your full movement point value and attack. Like you need to like slow down, set up, you know, 
mark out your like aim and so on and so forth. I love it. Like I've said before, I love this game. Even it's almost like it's, um, I can see what the enemy is probably doing or doing. Doesn't mean I can get to them or make effective fire and so on. It's just, I think it's like, it's got a lot of built in um, uh, way of getting away from, yeah, I know the other players staring at the map that you couldn't do like a god, you know, kind of thing. It, it's got that built into it. It's really neat. I really like it. So the, uh, I'll go through the train uh, facts later, but the only difference is for this, it's going to be the they don't have, I'm calling it light woods or whatever. So hold on, I have to go around to the map. Yes, I've got the other one set up and I'm still going to try to play it, but this makes, I'm just, look, I'm just letting my mind do stuff. All right, so the terrain effects, clear terrain, it's uh, two defense strength, one movement point enter. The road is gonna be that footpath, like I told you. It's uh, the same as the other terrain in the hex, and it's one half the movement points. Uh, then there's a town, it's eight strength points. Um, a defense uh, strength and one half movement point to get across. The woods are five and a two. Uh, anything else? The canal is four reduced to two if the attacker has a line of sight from the uh, from another canal hex, a crest hex, or an adjacent hex. All right. One for the movement point. Three to go across. Cool. So what I've decided to do for the light woods is give them a defense value of three instead of two. And if you are four um, movement hexes away from uh, the unit, like your target hex, it becomes um, indirect line of fire kind of thing. Like it becomes hidden until they start doing some funky things. I think that's okay. You move in and it's like you can start seeing some some uh, things go on. I think I'm doing that right. If it's like, hold on here, so. Yeah, because line of, yeah, I think for your, or should it be, yeah, because that, I'll just, that's the final little bit. But uh, the, for the woods, I'm trying to make it kind of like the further you're away, you're in the line of woods to your target kind of thing. And if there's like a, it's like almost, uh, yeah, it's, it causes a bit more, um, you're putting like another bit of um, translucency in, you know, in front of another one. Eventually, you ju I just can't see what you're up to, really. I have to get closer. Yeah, I like that. But you, you're always going to get that minus um, three defense value. Yeah, I like this. I think, well, obviously, I have to make better counters. You can see way too tiny, and the contrast is just not uh, not there. But that was the, one of the, uh, oh, yeah, of course, that was the big thing with the Europa map. The Europa map, sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Uh, the Europa map. <laughs> Holy sir, sorry. Uh, the Europa maps and um, my counters that I made are just too, a little bit too, and the Alberto markers, it just was not working. I was knocking things over every two seconds. All right, let me turn off this video because I'm just gonna, I know I'm starting getting to another sneeze fast. Damn. Anyways, I think so. I've got, I'm, yeah, I like the map and uh, minor, minor adjustments to the soldier rules. I just, as long as I don't uh, turn the, uh, light woods into some kind of crazy monstrosity and over uh, turn it, you know, make it too complicated. I, know, I think I, I've got something nice here. Yep. All right. Hope you're having fun, man. See ya.